All right, guys, here we are. We are starting the day. Good morning. Try not to get wet today. I don't know if we're going to achieve that or not. Well, with the whole good bad scenario, the battery in my camera I think is going bad. I have three different batteries. I cycle them out so that all of them get equal amounts of use. Um, but this one here is already down a bar and I haven't even filmed anything today. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog during the day, but that's okay because I'm driving to an appointment anyway and you're not going to see a whole lot. However, however, I do need to mention that I need to start like kicking ass and working on the super secret project because West Coast Haunters Convention is in less than a month. Oh my gosh, so now I'm actually starting to get panicked and it was uh, Jolson that brought it to my attention on how close this thing really is. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, especially the, the pace that I usually keep on most of my, uh, my projects. So anyway, here we go. Off to the wild gray yonder. Oh, I just thought of a new expression. Words have no meaning, but the meaning behind words being everything. Isn't that great? That's great! That's brilliant! That's bloody brilliant! I don't know, I don't know why I'm so excited about that. Because I always tell people that words, words themselves have, have absolutely no meaning. We give meaning to words. So by saying that words have no meaning, but the meaning behind the word means everything. Oh man, oh, I'm a freaking genius, huh? I've taken John John 911's uh, recommendation and others, and I now get my printer ink through like eBay or Amazon because it's so much cheaper. So much cheaper. And I go through ink like, like, like my printer was drinking water. If a printer were to drink water, which actually be kind of hazardous because it's an electrical device and there'd be a big shock and smoke and stuff. But anyway, I digress. So I go and get the mail today and I get this, this package from Amazon. And I'm like, oh, did I order printer ink? So I just open it blindly and it's a USB charger for my truck because my, my car, whatever, SUV. Um, because uh, Jolson and I were talking about that um, Saturday when he came over and the one that's in my truck doesn't really charge my phone. Um, and it was the same in both vehicles, my old truck and the SUV and the old phone and the new phone. It does the same thing, so I'm pretty sure it's the charger. He went and got me one. So, Jolson, thank you so much, dude. That fucking rocks. Oh, sorry. I swore. Yeah, I'll probably bleep that out or something. I try not to say, drop the F-bomb. Some people don't care. Some people are like, hey, dude, my, my kids watch this. So, you know, I, I try to. I, <laughs> you would have never known it from the vlog on Saturday, but I try to keep it pretty PC. It's kind of like Looney Tunes or... Uh, uh, Bugs Bunny, you know, there are so many innuendos, but you know, children aren't going to realize what, what's going on. They're just going to laugh and be like, ha ha ha, that's funny. Why am I laughing? Switching gears and trucks and truck gears and uh, taking down this load of scrap metal. Finally, uh, I'm going to make the front of my house look presentable again without a big old nasty Samford and Son truck and out front sitting there looking all gross and full of crap, scrap, crappy scrap. Apparently over there, they're calling those pilot cars. I don't understand why they have two of them in front of the uh, the wide load when the wide load is all the way back there. But I have to go now, so we don't get to sit here and enjoy the excitement. Oh darn. Oh my gosh, do you guys see it? Not Taco Bell. What's that thing next to it? That sign right next to it. Ra ra radio Shack? What the heck? They still exist. Where's it at? I know of at least two, actually three Radio Shacks that are no longer. And now here's one right here. That's amazing. Wow. And, and there's Taco Bell too. So, you know, if I were hungry, that's, oh, that right next to Burger King. Oh my gosh, so many options. Oh, and a Kmart. There's still a Kmart in business too. Wow. All we need now is a Sears to make everything complete. All right, we're headed there. We're almost there. Woo. Oh, what a day. Troy's about ready to get a workout, too. And I need it. I'm not sure if you guys know, but the scrap, everything in the back, has to be uh, taken out piece by piece, Johnny Cash style, one piece at a time, by me. Is it not automated? This is a parking lot out back, or on the side of Lowe's. Look at that. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that looks like? That looks like a spot to build a haunt. An update for the day. It is raining, it is late afternoon, Look at the growth on the ch ch chia Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. And, and, hi Buffy. Do you want your egg? 
Which one is the Buffy egg? Which one is it? Here it is. Now normally I would give her the whole egg. I know, but this has wax and I don't know about the dye on it. So we're going to, oh, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna get it out of the shell. Even though normally we just give this whole thing to you, right? Because that's not bad for dogs. That's actually kind of good. Here you go, you want your egg? You want your egg? You want it? Here, take it. Take it. Let's see if she likes it. Get it. Good girl. <laughs> hey, didn't anybody tell you not to play with your food? It's pretty good, huh? Buffy got her egg. <laughs> okay, you made a mess. You gotta clean it up. Right there, get it. Good girl. Over here. Over here, right there. Get it. Get it. There, get it. Get it. Good girl. Was that a good egg? Was that a good egg? Speak. Speak. Good girl. Give me. Okay, I am going to continue my pressure washing, hopefully today getting done with this and the stuff that's back beyond there, uh, simply because I do have to upkeep my home also. And I'd rather do this now than when the time crunch comes when I'm going to totally ignore it. So we're gonna do this now. And I also wanna use this to get uh, Phoenix's uh, castle. Um, not today, but get his castle all cleaned up so I can put it back in the front yard so that he can have a place to play. Okay, here we go. Troy's gonna get wet. Again. Do you guys want to see awesomeness? <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, so sexy. <laughs> but, but, so we come down to the end. There's a line, and this is what I have to do. Here, let's get away from the sheen so you guys can actually see it. Okay, well, there's still a sheen there. Not a person's name, not Charlie, just a sheen. So, okay. All this is not going to be done today, I don't think. I don't think I want to do that today. I think I'm just going to like stripe this out, like come like straight out here and call that done for today, I think. I think, I don't know. I can change my mind, I always do. Never mind, no sexist comment. How many times have you guys taken this trip around the house with me today? Well, look at this. I couldn't stop. My OCD was like, you know something? I've come this far, I might as well just keep on going. So I did, I did everything. Absolutely everything. It is all nice and clean clean and uh, I had gotten some rocks a while back So I still need some more, but you know, I guess sometimes there's not enough rocks and I cleaned off the chairs and the table and Phoenix's castle yeah. So now I got to get all the stuff put back and and we're done We're done. The pressure washing is done. Everything is clean. Oh so much better so so much better I decided that I'll wait and I'll move Phoenix's castle out front on another day maybe one that he's here so that there's more excitement about doing it okay Buffy hasn't been out here yet I just washed all the smell away what's Buffy gonna do huh? wait did I wash all the smell away She says, wait, all the smell's on you, and it's over here on the side. Everything's moved, everything's different. It's the same, but different. <laughs> all right. Oh, the life of a dog. Or your most stressful days when your owner sits there and cleans. Right? All right, I'm gonna get you guys situated. Yep, just like that. Are we good? We must be good because the Buffy is here and she wants my cheese ball. No, my cheese ball, not yours. Silly dog, cheese ball's for me. All right, get down please. Down, thank you. Um, it is time for COC from the night before because we didn't do COC, we didn't do any cock last night. So we have to do like double the cock tonight. Um, stands for commenting on comments in case you're brand new and if you are new then you should definitely thumbs up comment down below share the video and subscribe 
And if you haven't done any of those things, and it, then you it, it, just do it now. If you're watching this, just do it now. It makes me happy. Not many things make, well, actually lots of things make me happy, but this is one of those things that also makes me happy, so I, I digress. First comment of the night for Nitrous Oxide Fire. Caps on two, first. And Jolson commented, you answered your own question. A Rude Goldberg machine is a deliberately complex contraption in which a series of devices that perform simple tasks are linked together to produce a domino effect in which activating one device triggers the next device in the sequence. In other words, the Goonies. Right after the truffle shuffle. Mm. Phoenix Fire 71, love the fire, appeals to the beavis in me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fire. <laughs> e Street Tramp, I'm glad there wasn't an explosion during the filming. Of course not. Nah, I'm safe. Insane, but safe. Safe and insane. In the membrane. Insane in the brain, apparently. Indica, not paying attention and hearing Troy say, get off, I'm trying to get it off. And then hearing a hissing sound. There's my dirty mind. Well, your mind is right there with me down in my gutter. I like it here. It's comfortable. 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 Joseph Blau, you say that my yawning didn't work. Dang. And you also say that you can't go to the convention because you don't have a vehicle, unfortunately. Or actually, you say that if you go, which I am, um, get footage and photos if you're allowed. Of course, I do. Every year. Absolutely. C North, are you doing a haunt this year? Any update? Um, yes, I am. And if you go to uh, Facebook... Uh, Hellmouth Hellions it is pinned. There's a pinned post there with the haunt announcement video. Jim Erickson, boys and their toys. <laughs> and fire! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, started B. Jolson and you are hilarious together. Well, pretty much anybody that, I don't know, I try to be hilarious. I need more crackers for my cheese ball. Sorry, squirrel. True 27, lots of Troy themed garbage pale kids. Very interesting. I had no idea that there were this many. Troy Story, Fall of Troy. The one I was thinking of is Troy Destroy. That's one I was thinking of. But there's also Dog Troy, Troy Scout, and Troy Toy. Yeah, like I haven't heard that one before. Emerald Gypsy Heart, so many off-color jokes in the vlog, so little time. And you're also um, ask, asking about any more pressing issues on your hind-end distress. No. It is at bay for right now. Everything is eh, normal. So, except I did get the bill today for both hospital visits. <laughs> oh, oh, FML times like 30. Normally I would say, all right guys, happy haunting, see you tomorrow, but we have another cock to get through. So we're gonna do cock from last night, which happens to be once I get there, da 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 da. Oh, happy Easter 2017. I should have remembered that. My memory's short. I can't remember much of anything. Where am I? What the heck am I? Whoa! When is the last oh! Time? Oh! Okay. I've changed the advertising format a little bit. Usually I have you guys like sit through the ads and you can't skip them. Now you can skip them. But if I could ask you guys a favor and to sit through the first 30 seconds of the ad, that would be outstanding. 32 seconds just to be on the safe side. I'd really appreciate that. First comment for last night, Cap Zone 2, Cap Zone 1. That's what he said. He said Cap is on 1, but he's Cap is on 2. That's why I get it mixed up. Right starter B, darn you, Troy, when Phoenix saw his basket and ran to you and hugged you and said, thank you, Dad. Aw, that was so freaking adorable and tugged on the heartstrings. Happy Easter, buddy. Thank you very much. I hope you had a good one, too. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, that's why I included that, because it was just, it, I, I love those spontaneous moments of, like, awesomeness. Cap Zone 2, where was Buffy at during all the fun? Well, she was in the backyard during all the fun because there's so much chocolate around and I'm sure that she would eat the chocolate and the chocolate is bad for her so she was like not around the chocolate. Carrie Ann Olsen, did Buffy get anything for Easter? Nope, just the Easter egg for my dad that we that she ate today. The Energized Phoenix is super adorable to watch. Love those flowers you got your mom. Happy Easter. Thank you very much. East Street Tramp, uh, hashtag Peter Cottontail. Interesting thing about that is the Easter Bunny is not Peter Cottontail. If you look it up, the Easter Bunny has many pseudo names, but his real identity is secret. I googled it, and you know, if you see it on on the internet, it's true. Uh, Phoenix Fire Seventy One. Oh my God, cutest video ever. He is so adorable and so good with his manners. Thanking you. He is. Uh, his mother and I have both worked on. Uh, from the day that he was born saying please and thank you 
and um, and being courteous because that that doesn't exist. I mean, well, it does exist, but not to the level level that I feel that it should in today's society. People need to be thankful for for things. Uh, Jason Christopher seventy seven. Oh, by the way, and Phoenix is going to save the freaking world. So you know, Jason Christopher seventy seven. Why does the Easter Bunny hide his eggs? Because he doesn't want everyone to know he's banging the chicken. <laughs> God. All righty, and with that. That brings us to our final comment by Adam S. The Easter Bunny is named Peter Cottontail or E.B. minus Hop the movie. Um, well, already, yep, yeah, kind of went over that. Nope, Peter Cottontail is not the name of the Easter Bunny. So, happy hunting, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to go, it's 1235, so I'm going to edit this up, and then I'm going to go work for probably about an hour on the Super Secret Project because I have to get it done. But I also got laundry done tonight. And I got towels done tonight. I got to go fold those. So, yeah, Troy got, and I vacuumed today. So Troy does a lot of stuff that you guys don't see. Boring stuff. I do a lot of boring stuff. That's my point. I'm boring. I need to become unboring. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. From Spookery Castle in Cincinnati, Ohio. Happy haunting!